Hey guys, Jim here. Appreciate you stopping by. Today I've got a couple of video responses for two great YouTubers. John over at Wade Boggs Fan. He's got 2,000 subscribers. He's celebrating with a contest. John's just one of the most hardworking guys in the hobby. He is consistently putting out content. And not just consistently putting out content, but informative content and entertaining content. And also a superstar here in the community, Scott over at Reindeer Studios. He is celebrating 1,500 subscribers, and they're both asking for video responses. And I know they're doing a contest, but I have no idea what they're giving away, and I don't care. I just want to support both of those guys because they're both friends of mine and here in the community, and I really, really want to show my support for both of them. So I'm sure that you know anybody who's watching my video is familiar with both of these gentlemen, but if for some reason you're not, as always, the links to their channels will be in the description. Please, please, please go check them out. I'm sure you'll like what you see there. So let me start off with John, Wade Boggs fan. <clears throat> He's asking us to talk about how YouTube has enhanced our collecting. And perfectly honest, I don't think that I would even be involved in the hobby if it wasn't for YouTube. Um, I am going to make a long story short. I was a collector from the late 70s into the mid 90s. At which time I started having kids, I got married, got a house, had dogs, had animals, had all kinds of stuff going on, did not have time or finances for the hobby, completely got out of it. All my collection went into storage for 25 years, didn't really, didn't look at it at all, rarely thought about it. Long about the end of 2018, started thinking about my collection, decided that I was going to pull it out of storage, needed to do something with it, was not going to com continue to store it. Took my whole collection, had it filled in my living room. The uh, It was New Year's weekend, 2018, going into 2019. Had my whole living room full of thousands and thousands of cards. And I started looking through them and the memories of collecting a lot of these cards started flooding back to me. Memories of ripping packs from when I was a kid, memories of going to card shows with my dad, just a lot of great memories started coming back to me. And somehow I ended up on YouTube and I put a search, a simple search into YouTube, baseball cards. <clears throat> I ended up top of the list was Silva Jackify. I clicked on his channel and Joe over at Silva Jackify, he's such a passionate guy, such a passionate collector, loves the hobby. And I started watching his videos and just his passion just came through and just really brought something to me. I was just shocked at the, the fact that there was even still a hobby, which I had no idea that even people still collected cards and started watching his videos at the same time as I was going through my collection that I hadn't looked at in years. And it was just so awesome. Just I was just hooked, just instantly re-hooked onto the hobby. And I decided at that point that I was going to get rid of what I didn't have any interest in. I was going to hold on to what I was connected to. And I did. I got rid of thousands of cards, but I kept thousands of cards as well. And I, I think I, bin, I binge watched Joe Silva Jackify's videos that, that weekend. I binge watched his whole channel. I saw all his videos and... I decided at that point that I was going to start collecting again and I really wanted to document my journey back into the hobby and that's what happened. I started doing videos just showing, you know, some of my collection and some of the cards that I had had in, in storage and then at that point, uh, maybe a month or two later, there was a local card show I went to and I wanted to, it was all about documenting my journey back into the hobby. And that's what started me on YouTube. And at that point I started making videos. Nobody was really watching, but I didn't care because it was for me more than just trying to get people to watch. It was just a documentation. But then a funny thing happened. People actually started watching my videos and I started making contacts with people and making connections with people and making friends with people. And it was a snowball effect and it just 
kept going and going and going. And I made so many great friends, so many awesome friends, so many people that were happy to share in my journey and to just be happy for me and happy for what I was doing with the hobby. And in turn, I was happy to share in what they were doing and friendships were developed and it has just become something that I had never ever dreamed or imagined that it would be. And so without YouTube, I may not even be involved in the hobby. And if I was involved in the hobby, it certainly wouldn't be to the extent or the enjoyment that it is. So long story, tried to make it short, but it wasn't that short, but that is how YouTube has enhanced my hobby. And th that's the Cliff Notes version because it's so much more than that, but that's the basics. So anyway, my bestie, Scott, Reindeer Studios, such a talented, entertaining gentleman. He's asking us to show our favorite uniforms. And I got a lot of favorite uniforms. So I'm just going to blow through this real quick. I'm a big fan of the uniforms from the 70s. And to start right off the bat, Scott, he's a Indian slash Guardians fan. And here's a beautiful mid-70s Cleveland Indians uniform. There's Dennis Eckersley. Look at that beautiful uniform. Love the, love the Indians, the font there on how they put the Indians name there on the, the uniform. Love that red. Just a really cool uniform there. <clears throat> Another favorite of mine is the early to mid 70s Oakland Athletics uniform. There's Reggie. Color match with the 2001 upper deck retro card there. And of course, another early 1970s Oakland A's uniform there with Jim Hunter. <clears throat> another awesome uniform. Late to early 80, late 70s to early 80s, Houston Astros. Very cool there. Nolan Ryan. Another uniform that I really love was the late 70s We Are Family Pittsburgh Pirates. Just love that yellow uniform and the pillbox cap there with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Again, that uniform there just reminds me of that. 1979 World Series Championship team. We are family. The team captured the the whole country there, really, in their in their quest for the 1979 World Series Championship. Another great uniform was from the late 70s San Diego Padres. Just loved those uniforms there. And here's one that you don't see all the time. Here's the San Diego Padres. Ozzy Smith. Don't really Honestly, don't really recall that that jersey at all, but pretty awesome if you ask me. <clears throat> Montreal Expos, 1982, Powder Blue, 1984, Pete Rose. A couple of hockey cards. I'm not a, a big, I'm not a Chicago Blackhawks fan at all, but this Chicago Blackhawks uniform is it's got to be one of, one of, if not the most iconic uniform in all of sports, in my opinion. Just love that, the colors, love the logo there. Just love everything about the Chicago Blackhawks uniform there. Of course, I've got my Boston Bruins, black and gold with the broken spoke B there. Such a classic uniform, in my opinion. Getting towards my favorites, I've got the Boston Red Sox uniform. This uniform with the red cap and the pullover jersey was popular and used with the Red Sox from 1972 through 1978. And just a very cool uniform there. As you see, here's the same uniform with the red cap. But my favorite Boston Red Sox uniform would be this classic home Button up uniform with the classic Red Sox logo there on the front. Now the this uniform was worn from Ted Williams 
through David Ortiz, through Mookie Betts, and right up till today with Raphael Devers. Just a classic, classic uniform. And the Boston Red Sox are one of the only, if not the only team that does not have the player's name on the back of the uniform. But my favorite all-time uniform would be the Team USA uniform here as displayed with Mark McGuire. So that's what I got. Go check out Reindeer Studios and John Wade Boggs fan. Two great guys. Two good friends in the community. Talk to you all soon. Bye for now.